one of the problems I'm noticing is uh, this trailer is sealed up pretty tight. I've got like a lot of condensation inside the camper. And it's a big problem. Because if you look down there, water just stands on that sill. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's actually starting to grow mold. So I'm going to clean that all out. And then what I'm going to do, I carried this bad boy in from the house. It's the uh, portable AC unit, but it also functions as a dehumidifier. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to suck the moisture out of the air and it collects into a tank in the bottom right there. And I'll just drain it out when it gets full and I'm just going to try to get as much of the vapor out of here as I can. So basically what I've had to do is move uh, this portable air conditioner uh, into the doorway to the front part of the trailer and it's actually working the same way that it does if it was air conditioning only instead of exhausting the hot air to the outside I'm blowing it back into this room so hot air is coming out of here it's not really that hot it's about 85 degrees and then it's sucking air in through it. I don't know if it's going in through this one or this one down here. Uh, but it's going over the condenser coils. And then on the other side of this unit, blowing into my front cabin space that I don't use, that air coming out is 43 degrees, so that's pretty cold. But it's actually gotten warmer in here since I started running it. So it's not chilled my camper down. And my windows are definitely a lot less... Uh, full of condensation so if we take a look I got a little bit down at the bottom but the top is all clear now and uh, if you remember this one before was just completely covered the top part's clear I got a little bit left on the bottom so uh, it's getting there a lot of progress in just a couple of hours okay it's been about five hours and uh, as you can see I've pretty much removed all the moisture off the windows and that includes uh, this big one right here the only downside is that this little guy right here is pretty annoyingly loud so I think my plan going forward is to just run this during the day when I'm at work and then maybe somewhat when I'm here and I don't care if that loud background noise is on but uh, yeah it's really doing the job I'll be interested to see uh, how long it takes to fill the water tank up on that thing and uh, earlier I said I didn't know if it was cut air was going in the top or the bottom it actually turns out air is being pulled in through the top and the bottom and blowing out the middle kind of weird so after doing a bunch of research on condensation and travel trailers and RVs uh, basically there was a pretty simple solution and that's just to crack your window a little bit and then uh, open up the top vent uh, if you have one like I have uh, an open air vent in my bathroom area so I just crack that just a little bit and then I just opened up this window right here I don't know if you can see it but it's really just a sliver open and uh, it's but I gotta wash those windows. But it's it's removed the condensation problem, which has been a huge problem in here. Now, when it gets really cold, I'll probably have to close that up, and I may end up getting a a real small dehumidifier because that big unit one is loud and two doesn't really work very well. So uh, that's if you're having a condensation problem, just uh, you just gotta crack your window just a little bit to vent that moisture out, and it works. Super great. So thanks for watching.